we felt that the more important choice was to protect the journalism, to protect the content, to protect the photography, the ideas. <laughs> Big news at Newsweek Daily Beast today. We've got Tina Brown to tell us about it, along with Baba Shetty, the new CEO of uh, Newsweek Daily Beast. Tina. Yes, John. So we're taking the bull by the horns, going all digital. We are. I mean, we've taken the big digital step because we really feel that we must embrace the future. You know, Newsweek is approaching its 80th anniversary next year, and we wanted to have the next 80 years start in the way that the future is there. And it's really only a question of when at this point in the print industry. We're seeing a huge industry-wide change, uh, a, a trend, a tipping point. And really, in, in media companies all over town, this discussion is happening. And it's all about when as opposed to if. So we decided to take away the when and actually now embrace it, develop it, you know, be ready for it. And that's what we're doing with today's news. Oh, Baba, being proactive as opposed to reactive, always a good idea. Yeah. Um, you're a brand expert. You're a brand guru. You worked with us on the Mad Men issue. Uh, give me your take on, on how the Newsweek brand going forward, the launch of Newsweek Global, being all digital, etc. Yeah, I think it's incredibly liberating. Newsweek uh, as a brand is an incredibly powerful media icon. The issue has always been it's been encumbered by the form factor. Um, it's also been encumbered by the economics of that form factor. So physical printing, distribution, circulation, um, but taking the essence of Newsweek, taking the reasons why people have always valued this brand and porting it over to a natively digital uh, product, we, we think is uh, incredibly liberating and it gives us huge upside. Um, I've also spent a lot of time working with brands and advertisers and we see the just inescapable realities of what the shape of marketplace demand is. And advertisers want to be where their consumers are going. And it is so clear now. Um, we, Tina and I have talked about this idea of a tipping point. Maybe two years ago, this wouldn't have made a lot of sense. But now the explosion of tablet-like devices, web usage for news, social news, it makes perfect sense for Newsweek to be a brand that lives completely uh, natively on, on digital. You know, John, let me just give you one incredible bullet point, which is that it costs $42 million a year to print, manufacture, distribute, manage the circulation of Newsweek before you've even heard, hired one writer or one intern. That's an enormous uh, albatross, sure. is the truth. And we felt that the more important choice was to protect the journalism, to protect the content, to protect the photography, the ideas, the, uh, the marketplace of ideas. That's really where we wanted our focus to go, as opposed to the constant battle with you know, the, 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 the kind of, uh, the, the bricks and mortar aspect of that business. So this is a content is king play, not, not we're gonna take away the operational Absolutely. costs or reduce them dramatically. How do you see in terms of just the, the, the Newsweek Daily Beast brand, those two things, which we've put together successfully, how yeah. will that evolve as we go more deeply? Yeah, well, well, they're incredibly complementary. I, I think uh, the Daily Beast has proven itself over the last four years, going from a startup to 15 million views a month, um, huge uh, spikes in readership, and not just readership, but engagement, kind of lean forward, participatory, multiple visits per day. Um, the Daily Beast is indispensable in people's information diet. Um, Newsweek is a beautiful complement to that in that it is um, a little bit a uh, step removed, a little bit more introspective, thoughtful, longer form, considered, and kind of a great way for people to kind of take in their, their daily stream of news, but then go away uh, at whatever point in their week that they can actually take a little bit of time and, and process and frame what's, what's happened. You know, John, I always think about, I think of the new reader of Newsweek and the Daily Beast, the same reader in a different mood. You know, I mean, you go online on the Daily Beast, you get your, your the, 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 the instant, the, the, the smart, fast take, the, the, the journalism that's fast and hot and happening, and then you're in that other mood. You know, when you just, you're kicking back a bit, you have your tablet there and you're sitting there, you're on the train home, you're, you know, on the car, someone's driving you somewhere, your friends are in the car with you and you're sort of sitting in the back seat and, and you know, with your kids or whatever, with the iPad and you're looking at your thing and you're, all of this stuff, it's a different mood. Sure. And, um, but it's the same kind of reader, it's the same kind of sensibility. It is just wanting that reflection, that context, that more, um, uh, the, th the more thorough, if you like, look at, look at what we're ha what's going on in the world. And, and, and as that sort of 
you know, we, we identify those readers or the same readers in different moods. The idea of Newsweek Global, which we're going to be developing and evolving, how do you see that, that brand and that uh, continuity of information reaching across not just the United States but the world? Well, it's, it's a terrific new perspective on it, which is, um, you know, the mobile, highly informed, highly engaged person who's very aware of everything that's happening on, all over the globe. And, um, and we actually think that, that, again, this goes back to my point of if you, if you remove kind of the, the print legacy and kind of what you're constrained by and kind of reinterpret what, um, what Newsweek can be for a pure digital format, I think it allows us tremendous uh, uh, upside. And I'm sure Tina, from an editorial point of view, has something to add on, on that point. Certainly. Absolutely. Um there really is now a global reader. You know, we find with the Daily Beast, for instance, that the same kind of people read the Daily Beast in India, they read them in London, they read them in, in Brazil, uh, three places that I've been in the last you know, year, and I'm amazed at how many people read the Daily Beast, which only tells me that there is the same kind of reader in each place. And then the other thing we have been really developing very hard here in the last year and a half are really powerful live events, which also are becoming part of our content play. You know, we started our Women in the World Summit uh, four years ago, and it has become a great sort of powerhouse, and it produces incredible content and amazing video and terrific pieces and so on. And a foundation so, that Angelina and a fa and Jolie Not to a, mention, of yeah. course, a foundation which we also started last year, and we're currently doing a big drive uh, uh, to endow a, 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 you know, a grant to, uh, for girls' education in Pakistan, which I've, I've launched this week with uh, Angelina Jolie, which is, which is you know, incredibly uh, uh, you know, important to us. So we have these, all these different aspects of our business now, our company, and they're all playing together. What was the anomaly, in a sense, was the, was the print component. Of course, it goes with an enormous amount of regret, too, because you know, we have some incredible, uh, brilliant, and professional people working here. There will, unfortunately, be some staff reductions because of that. But nonetheless, uh, we do believe that it's the right decision for the company and uh, uh, are excited about that piece of it. And, and in terms of putting content first, I think that's good news for, mm -hmm. for journalists who've been squeezed uh, for a long time as yeah. well. An exciting, uh, an exciting new, new, new opportunity. We'll look forward to the Thanks, future. Sir. Going all digital first. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. for joining us, Tina and Bob. Thanks, sir.